What's going on? It's your boy Lando Success. This is an interview I want you guys to see with Charles Hawkinson, one of the greatest CEOs in history and all time. He's actually my GOAT. So he was speaking at a conference where one of the guys are a guy that has been bad mouthing him, talking smack. They went back and forth on Twitter. And for Charles to go there and answer every question like a G, keep it P. So watch just one of the clips. I can just feel the excitement radiating off of you. Oh, uh, I know. No, it's, you know, this is a good crowd. We should talk about Cardano more often. Sure. I've sure. spent the last five years consciously avoiding it, ignoring <laughs> it, criticizing it, or at least you, according to you on Twitter. Well, you know. Well, you know. I can so look here at you reports, are on the main stage. Search, search for Ada, search for Cardano. Not a single mention. All right. Pages. All right. Here okay. we go. Okay. So we're, we're going to start off with a bang here. What do you... What do you think some people miss or what do you think some of the misperceptions of Cardano are that are most frustrating? So I want to basically give you the floor sure. to, uh, to get it all off your chest and then we can get into the rest of the conversation. <laughs> it's the community we've built and the ecosystem we've built. Now we are enjoying the dividends of that approach. We're doing a hard fork today. I'm not sweating because we built an incredible upgrade system called the hard fork combinator. In just about three hours, it's out. I don't worry that it's going to be problematic and the network's going to break. We're literally updating a $15 billion asset with a 3 million person community on 200 plus exchanges. And it's just an event for us, like many others. Because we thought, how do you upgrade these things? For the consensus algorithm, they talk like, how do you scale Ethereum? Well, we already wrote all the papers on how to scale Ouroboros, so we know how to do it. It just implement it. It might take a year, it might take two years as an inevitability, though, and it's there when you need it. For the transaction models, people talk about TPS. With extended UTXO, you have transactions per transaction. One transaction could be hundreds of transactions in an accounts-based model. And that's great for roll-ups. That's great for accumulators. That's great for off-chain traffic and so forth. So you know, that's always been the philosophy. Maybe that's not your cup of tea. That's fine. It's a big industry. But we, you have to acknowledge that more than half of the value of this industry does believe in that because they hold Bitcoin and they believe in those slow methodical principles. The other thing is Fortune 500 companies, governments, real actors that are in charge of millions to billions of people, they care about standards, they care about safety, they care about reliability, they care about consistency, they care about interoperability, they care about good governance. You get one of these clients on board, you have three billion users. Meanwhile, 98% of the people in the world don't use cryptocurrency for anything other than speculation. So we have yet to see mass adoption, we have yet to see mass embracing. In fact, regulations moving in a direction that we were now talking about things like, well, how do you do regulated DeFi? How do you do uh, certified wallets or KYC AML on transactions? These types of things. That's where the VWrite standards are coming from and these other things. We kind of pre-built everything in that particular direction that things work well in a standards-based approach. We're one of the most decentralized of all cryptocurrencies. 74% of the supply is staked and liquid at the same time. Over 3,000 stakeful operators. And the way the system is built, 10 years from now, it'll be probably an order of magnitude greater. So it gets more decentralized over time. So when you look at it in the micro, there's nothing for the speculators because it's not sexy. But when you look at it over the macro trend, once you gain a user, they tend to stay. They tend to be loyal to the brand. They tend to want to build something inside the brand. You know, we, there's a lot of self-inflicted wounds. I was overly optimistic about how quickly we could move with the development model. We literally had to rewrite all the code uh, about two years ago, three years ago with the Byron reboot. I was a little optimistic about how long it would take to go from research paper to an actual solution in market. Because I said, oh, if we have the paper, we can do it in six months to a year. Some of these papers take three years to implement and so forth. But I'll just give you a sense of where the dividends have paid off. There's Mina and there's Cello and all these other things. They say constant size blockchain. We want to have a blockchain that, uh, that you know, I can have a light client and have full node security. Okay. And they have tons of engineers and they spend tens of millions of dollars and they're pursuing this heavy thing. One paper, Mithril, that we published last year with a team of just three people does that for Cardano. And it's 24 weeks of engineering. We're now in a beta test with the stateful operators using it. It'll be in our wallets in the next six to nine months. And that's one thing that also can be used for scalability, off-chain voting, interoperability between different side chains and so forth. 
And we get that with a very simple cryptographic primitive, the threshold signature. Why? Because we thought about it. While we were designing Ouroboros in 2016, we said, you know, we're going to need side chains. We're going to need off-chain stuff. We have all these things. Can we do the hard heavy lifting now and design this framework so that I can just plug a simple solution in? Meanwhile, all these other people are trying to take older systems and retrofit them to have capabilities they were never intended to do. And then they suddenly have to spend years scratching their head thinking about it, like seven years for Ethereum to get proof of stake integrated. It took us just a few years to actually turn that on. So, you know, well, it's, not, it's not everybody's cup of tea, you know? And I get that, I appreciate that. And, you know, reasonable people can disagree, but one thing that's clear is we're here to stay. We're not going anywhere. We're going to stay where we're at, and we're going to keep growing in that respect. 